Previously, we completed Recipe for Disaster, unlocking full access to the Kohler Master Chest. With this, we finally acquired Barrel Gloves, which is our best in slot glove until the late game. In today's video, we're going to be working on upgrading our gear in preparations towards mid game content. There are multiple items I can use an upgrade, and the main ones I'm focusing on are my chest and leg slots. I've been using rune armor which are level 40 equipment, technically still considered free to play gear. At level 50, I can use granite armor, the body I can obtain from the barbarian assault minigame. This can be unlocked once you defeat the penance queen, allowing you to purchase it from the reward shop. For the legs, this can only be acquired once you have 72 slayer to take on skeletal wyverns. Not only that, but it's a 1 in 512 drop rate. This is not ideal because it focuses too much on RNG, however they do drop dragon legs and plate skirts at the same drop rate which are level 60 tank legs. Either way I'm not keen on subjecting myself to a grind like that and would just rather take the leap towards level 70 armor. That's right, barrels is going to be the ideal armor for this account. With so many variations possible, this could provide me with the best setups for melee, range, and mage. Even if I don't get the tank gear I'm looking for, obtaining some of the other pieces would be beneficial down the road as well. Currently, I don't have an optimal way to get to barrels, nor do I have an efficient method to beat them. In the previous episode, I had to run all the way from the fairy ring near the haunted mine. This takes nearly 3 minutes and the entirety of my run energy. After factoring the time that it would take to complete a barrel's chest and to resupply, each trip would take roughly 15 minutes or 4 trips an hour. To replenish my run energy, I could use super energy potions, but this would take up the majority of my inventory space. However, there is an upgrade to super energy potions that not only restore 20% of my run energy, but reduces depletion at a rate of 70% as well. These are stamina potions, one of the most crucial utility unlocks to make traveling far distances in the game much more convenient. They require 77 herb lore to create, which on an Iron Man is extremely difficult considering that herb lore is one of the most challenging skills to train. Luckily, I only have to train my herb lore to 73 and just easily boost the remaining 4 levels using a botanical pie. So, with that said, our goal will be to unlock stamina potions. Easier said than done though, as our herb lore level is only 69. To get the next 4 levels, I'll need exactly 324,844 experience. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that equates to 3,241 super attack potions. The only setback is gathering the herbs and secondaries would take months, and even then would only amount to a single level. I think uh, thieving's my highest level. Never mind. <laughs> All I did was just arty nights, man. I can't be bothered doing anything else. All I remember doing was Hosidious stalls, arty nights, and then I just moved on to master farmers because I needed the uh, herb seeds. Here we go. Big level. 73. Whoa. Oh my god. I used every single herb I had. <laughs> Let's go. Now I gotta see how many botanical pies I have. I got three. So that's seven. Seven boosts. Now I just gotta go purchase the crystals and then I'll be all set. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. This is so huge. I think this is the biggest thing I've done for this account, dude. Stamina potions. That's going to be such a big game changer. Using my Slayer points, we unlock Broad Fletching. This will provide us the ammo that we need for our rune crossbow. I decided to camp Karas as this will be a great source of secondaries, herbs, seeds, and alcables. We've acquired a leaf bladed axe for whenever we want to melee Karas or just to use as a high strength crush weapon at Gargoyles or Seracnus. After getting some levels, here are the drops that we got during this trip. We did months of Slayer, saving up points in order to purchase an herb sack. This will make collecting herbs much more easier as it can hold 30 of each grimy herb. With this, we got 80 range, which is a huge milestone, cause now I feel like it's time we get ourselves a fire cape. To do this, I want to get the gear necessary to make tanking waves less stressful. The best option is to purchase a crystal shield after completing Rolving Elves. This is one of the best tank shields in the game, that is easily acquired at the cost of 750k for a full charge. 
The plus 80 range defense bonus will help tremendously during the fight cave considering the main monster that will be dealing damage to us will be the ranger. Here are the stats, my gear and the inventory that I will be using. Not the most optimal setup as we're prioritizing prayer bonus. Pineapple pizzas will be the best food I can get my hands on. They heal 9 HP in 2 bites, giving a total of 18 each pizza. I'll use this as an emergency since our main way of healing will be using blood spells. After an hour and 40 minutes, we got our first fire cape. Let's go! Woo! Yeah. Damn. We did it, boys. Oh my god. Why is that so intense? Alright, we got the fire cape. Hell yeah. Oh my god, we use all our supplies as well. GG's, everybody. I'm telling you, if we didn't have the crystal shield, I don't think we would have been able to do it. Since we pretty much used all our money on the crystal shield, I need some GP to fund my kingdom for more herbs. Let's check our resource allocations. We only have 1,000 GP in the coffer. I'm going to deposit another 750k. Actually, I'll deposit 1 million. That's all my money. And then withdraw. Collect resources. I got nothing. <laughs> I want McDonald's! And got out Wyan. Like, on the first round, that'd be so fucking stupid. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that. I want McDonald's! Uh. I went back to Slayer with my newly acquired fire cape while alking you longbows to recover some of the money. Oh, <gasps> no way! Oh my god, I just got a shield left half! Oh my god! Finally, I can make my dragon square shield. With our first shield left half drop, we can use this to create a dragon square shield, which can be used as an alternative to the crystal shield as it provides similar defense stats and the added bonus of it not being degradable. The downside to creating the shield is that we must purchase the other half from the legends guild for another 750k. If you make the shield, make sure to do it in West Artie because that is a requirement for the hard diaries. Now, with all our unlocks, we can focus on barrels and search for our next gear upgrade. Having stamina potions reduces the downtime for the lost run energy. This allowed me to get an extra triple barrels per hour, lowering the time per run from 15 minutes to 12.
Unfortunately, even with this, we are still unlucky to getting a drop. I decided to stop and go back to the drawing board to see what I can do to make my runs more optimal. Here is where I discovered that you can teleport directly to the tombs using the barrel's teleport spell. The requirements for this are pretty steep, requiring a magic level of 83 and needing 60% Arceus favor to use a spellbook. A detriment to this is that I won't be able to use Ivan's Blast since you have to be in a normal spellbook to cast it. My only choices are to create the teleport tablet which requires 100% favor or by directing a portal using the player own house. I decided to go with the second option. This means that I will need to train my construction up to level 50 to create the portal chamber. We're going to need 17 levels for this as I'm only 33 and the method that we're going to be using is Mahogany Homes. Here is a compilation of the levels. I'm doing novice contracts which uses oak planks as a resource. Now that we have the level to create the portal chamber, the only thing remaining is to get the magic level to cast the teleport. I'm currently level 74 magic at the moment. To get it to 83, I'll only need to get it to 79 with a plus 4 boost from magic potions. Before we start to grind, we have a few things to knock off the list. The first is the big milestone of 75 Slayer. Here we unlock gargoyles which is one of the best resource dropping mobs in the game. To make it much less intensive, we'll unlock Gargoyle Smashers to automatically shatter them when they're at low health. I decided to do a quick melee run and we got our first Granite Maul drop. A great spec weapon for PvP or to use at Nightmare Zone, but completely useless to us. Here I will be training my magic to see if it's a viable method while also making money. I decided to do this until 77 magic as it eats up a lot of my time. As for the remaining two levels, I went to the Catacombs to burst Dust Devils. After getting 79 magic, we head over to Zaya and got 60% Arceus favor at the library so that we can get access to the spellbook for the barrel's teleport. Completing these tasks gets us XP tomes which we use on runecrafting, getting us up to level 47. All that's left to do is boost our levels, build the portals, and then we're good to go. We'll use a botanical pie to get the herbal level that we need to make the magic potion, then head over to our POH and create the portal frame. Now we boost our magic up to 83 with a potion and direct the portal teleport to barrels. Having direct access to the tombs whenever we need, this will be the most optimal route compared to before. A previous run would take around 12 minutes to complete, this cuts it down to an average of 8 minutes. We have no more excuses not to grind out the armor that we need, and I will not be leaving until I get both a chest and leg piece.